The idea behind this aircraft is to design it around the user experience. So we had a chance to really refine everything from bigger surfaces to all the small details that your daily interaction with the aircraft will be hopefully very satisfying, whether you grab the bow handle or you open the canopy. So let's, let's start with the bow handle. Actually, it's, it's one of my favorite. Every, part, every boat that you have needs a bow ring on it. You have to have a bow ring. You have to have a way to tie a rope to it, whether you're going to winch it up onto a trailer or whether you're going to tie it off to a buoy. So, of course, we could have just put a simple ring on the, the front of it. That's just not icon style. We saw an opportunity to make a great user interface. And so, whether you're, you're tying it down and it's just a simple tie-down point on the ramp or on your trailer, or if you want to use it as a handle. Uh, we've mentioned it a couple of times now, but it's, it's uh, shaped so that it could be either of those functions. And like all of the metal parts on the airplane, any piece of metal on this airplane, there's not that much. We try to stick with the composites because they don't corrode. Any piece of metal on the airplane, like this one, is either stainless steel, or if it's aluminum, and it needs to be aluminum for some reason, it's got uh, anodizing on it to protect it against corrosion. So we've done as much as you can possibly do to prevent corrosion without going to stainless everywhere on the aircraft. It's actually kind of funny. When we first started out saying, hey, this, uh, the bow ring that we had before was really creating some pain in our shop guys' hands because they're moving around the, pain, uh, the, the plane. So we put this big ring on the front and it was working <laughs> great, but it looked so <laughs> awful, it was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> so we made it smaller, 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 smaller until it was too small and a little bit bigger. And now it looks really well integrated. It doesn't really stand out, stand out as you know a, yeah. a big device, but it works really well. So later on, you can try it out for yourself. You can really pull up high without squeezing your fingers because it's got a little bit of a surface here pull to the side and actually what I like the best is when you want to push the aircraft you can grab it like this and really maneuver it really well so yeah, um, yeah so those trades are going on all the time uh, we're, we're looking at uh, function Klaus is looking at ergonomics and styling and there's always this uh, this healthy tension between our two groups